Hello, my name is Oscar and in this video course I'll teach you the basics of modern OpenGL. In this video I'll talk about the requirements for this video course, what OpenGL is, what it isn't, and OpenGL in various languages. So the requirements for this video course are as following. You will need knowledge of one of the following programming languages, C, C++, Objective-C, and Java. You can also use OpenGL in the grayed out programming languages, but I'm not going to cover that in this video course. You will also need the computer that supports a minimum of OpenGL version 3.0. To check whether or not your computer has this OpenGL version, you can download a program called OpenGL Extensions Viewer. You should always install the latest drivers for your graphics card in order to assure the best programming experience and the latest OpenGL version. Now there's a funny thing on Mac where you need a minimum of Mac OS X Lion to uh, get to the OpenGL 3 and onwards versions but also if you go to OpenGL Extensions Viewer you open that program and then you go to OpenGL Profile then instead of leaving it at the default option which is compatibility you need to select Core to find out that the computer actually supports OpenGL version 3.2. So what is OpenGL? OpenGL is basically a low-level graphics API. It's, it's an API that allows you to leverage the power of the graphics card and turn it into stunning real-time visuals. Now that said, it is not in contrary to what many people think one of the following. It's not a windowing library, it doesn't allow you to create a window in which you can draw graphics. That's something you'll have to leave to a separate library which I'm going to talk about in a minute. It's also not a physics library and it's definitely not an all-in-one game library. As I said it's very low level and it doesn't handle things like collision or well physics. Bottom line, it's really just graphics. Okay, let's start with OpenGL in C or C++. Now you must choose whether to go cross-platform or native. If you go cross-platform, so if you choose a cross-platform library, then you sacrifice flexibility for ease of use and portability. However, if you go and use a native library, then you'll get more flexibility, but it will be a bit harder to use and your code will not be portable. So for cross-platform I recommend you use GLFW, this is a library that will supply you with a window, it will supply you with input handling, and it's very minimalistic and easy to use, so great choice. You can also use FreeGLATS, but unfortunately it's not compatible with the Macintosh operating system. And you can also use GLATS, but you can't use it for modern versions of OpenGL, and so it won't really apply to this series, and hence it's outdated. Now for the native choices, on Windows you can choose Wiggle, WGL, on Mac you can choose CGL or Core OpenGL, it's a pretty misleading name, it doesn't actually refer to the core specification of OpenGL, but it's just a library created by Apple. And you can also use NS OpenGL if you decide to use Objective C++. And on Linux you can choose GLX. Now for OpenGL in Java, I know right, Minecraft, you can choose Java OpenGL or Jogel. And the advantages of Java OpenGL are that it fits in with Swing and AWT libraries. You can easily incorporate it into an already existing GUI you've created with Java. And it's also more complex. I'd say it has more functionality to it than the lightweight Java game library, which is the, the alternative to Jogel. And the last stable version is obsolete. It's still sort of developed, but it's all nightly builds and it's not really what I'd call extremely stable. And then you have the lightweight Java game library. Now this is a very minimalistic and easy to use library, as the name implies, lightweight Java game library. And it's also stable and well maintained, so really if you're just looking for a simple solution, then the lightweight Java game library is the way to go. Now for OpenGL in Objective-C, I should say that I 
I'm referring to OpenGL on the desktop Mac platform. It's not a very popular platform to develop for, but if you want to, you can use either NS OpenGL or CGL. And NS OpenGL is the native library that fits in with Kakoa. And CGL, that's a bit more low level. You can use that in C as well. Okay. Now, if you have any questions and remarks, you can send me an email, tweet me, or Skype me. And you can also leave a comment down below this video if you have a YouTube account. Now lastly, some sources I used for creating this presentation. I use Stack Overflow, the Kronos website, the Apple developer website, some malia.blogspot.nl, but it's a Dutch website. I use that for, I think, a picture. And I also used Strap for the picture of Bjorn Strap. I really didn't know how to pronounce that name. But it's the guy who invented C++. Okay, that's been me for the day. I hope to see you in the next video of Beginners OpenGL.